Let's check out what those plus features really are in Pixel Experience 12. It essentially comes down to a whole heap of extra customization and feature settings. A mix of uh, to ah. So let's have a look. Starting off with sound and vibration. In the Plus software, we now have a separate volume slider for notifications, which is usually paired with the ringer. There is a toggle to keep them in step if you prefer though. There's also a feature to have your ringer volume start softly and then increase as it goes unanswered. Useful to help not being completely shocked the second someone actually calls. There's also an extra vibration option included here relating to call status. Now in the display menu, we have quite a few extra goodies. First off in the lock screen options, we can display media cover art when playing music. Great if you missed that from Oxygen OS. There's also an option for adding a music visualizer, but I only had this appear once and I couldn't get it to appear again. Moving on, we have live display, which while it initially looks the same as the colors menu, it is separate. Here we have extra options to change the color profile based on color gamuts. We can also change the display mode, mainly to force outdoor mode to boost the brightness even further than the usual maximum. Finally, we have an anti-flicker mode for those that notice it when the brightness is all the way down. And also some more granular settings for color and picture adjustments. Still in our display menu, we have some extra additions to the auto rotate settings, letting you disable certain orientations. So if you never want to hold your device upside down, you can do that. As we continue down, there's an option to hide the notch. <laughs> no such filth is needed here. Rounding out the display settings is an option to increase the touch polling rate, which I'm not convinced works on my device, or at least isn't really noticeable. And also tap to sleep and wake on plug options. The first allows a double tap on the status bar or lock screen to turn the display off. And the other turns the screen on when connecting or disconnecting a power source but that doesn't seem to work here either. Now, backing out and going all the way down to system, the gestures menu isn't new, but it does have some nice little tweaks added. There's also an option to have a bit more control over the power button, not just the boring hold for assistant, but being able to add advanced restart options like restarting into recovery. It also lets you add some extra shortcuts to the power menu like Aeroplane mode and screenshots. Finally, we can add a gesture for three finger swipe to take a screenshot. Back in system, and we find a heap has been added to the buttons menu, but some of these options probably should have been in gestures. To start, we have a new long swipe from the side gesture to perform an action, adding yet another way to take a screenshot. There's also more power button settings here, like ending a call with a press. But the real amazing feature is with a long press while the screen is off to turn on the flashlight. And just in case it activates in your pocket, it can be paired with an option to turn off the flashlight if it's been on for a length of time. There are also a slew of shortcuts relating to the volume buttons, if you're so fancy. Like waking the device upon press, just like the power button, answering an incoming call with press, seek options for your media, moving the keyboard cursor for easier text positioning, reorienting the volume buttons when the screen is flipped, and my favorite, short pressing the volume down and power keys to take a partial screenshot. Finally coming to the new status bar menu, adding some great customizations. The ability to turn off individual icons is found here and is fantastic to be included. This would usually require the system UI tuner app in most OS's and helps keep things as minimal as you want. There's a few options for customizing the clock, like its positioning, seconds, or just auto hide. And also some logical changes to the battery icon. Being able to change it, but also being able to put the text inside instead of next to it. Rounding it all out, you have a cool feature to change the brightness by just swiping the status bar, 
no longer needing to pull down the quick settings menu. But if you do want to access the quick settings, there's also a shortcut to pull this down in a single swipe. So there you have it. If you've ever wandered between Pixel Experience Standard and Plus, I would definitely recommend going with Plus. The extra additions add so much customization and if you don't like them, you don't have to use them. Cheers for watching guys. I'm currently a tiny channel trying to grow. So if you think I did all right, please consider chucking us a like and a sub. And if you want to check out my review of Pixel Experience 12 on the 7 Pro, that'll be floating around on screen too. Appreciate it.